Palawan, often called the last frontier of the Philippines, is a place where the world's natural wonders come to life. From its turquoise waters gently kissing white sandy shores to the towering limestone cliffs rising majestically over hidden lagoons, Palawan captivates the heart of every traveler. Known for its untouched beauty, this island province is a sanctuary of vibrant marine life, dense rainforests, and awe-inspiring caves. It's a destination where adventure meets tranquility, where every corner reveals a new, breathtaking scene. But beyond its postcard-perfect landscapes, Palawan holds secrets from the past, stories that are etched into its land, stories of resilience, sacrifice, and survival. This is Plaza Quartel, a quiet and unassuming site nestled in the heart of Puerto Princesa. Today it stands as a peaceful memorial surrounded by gardens and stone walls. But these walls, now covered in ivy and the passage of time, have witnessed one of the darkest chapters in Palawan's history. At first glance, Plaza Cuartel seems peaceful, even idyllic. Its stone walls weathered by time and its gardens calm, offering a place of quiet reflection. But behind this calm exterior lies a darker, untold story. The walls of Plaza Cuartel have stood witness to a moment in history that, though not as visible as the beauty of Palawan, is etched into the island's soul. A story of unspeakable suffering, resilience, and sacrifice. One that echoes through the years, even if the walls themselves remain silent. Plaza Cuartel's history begins long before the dark days of World War II. Originally constructed in the late 1800s during the Spanish colonial period, it was built as a military garrison to protect the island from external threats. Its thick stone walls and strategic location made it an ideal fortress in the heart of Puerto Princesa. Over the years, the plaza stood as a symbol of authority and protection, a place where soldiers once stood guard overlooking the shores of Palawan, ready to defend their territory. As the tides of history shifted, so did the purpose of Plaza Cuartel. When the Philippines found itself caught in the global conflict of World War II, Plaza Cuartel became more than just a relic of colonial times. By 1944, it had been transformed into a prison by occupying Japanese forces a place where prisoners of war, many of them young American soldiers, were held captive. Within these same walls that once offered protection, fear and uncertainty took hold. These soldiers, already weary from the brutality of war, found themselves in the grip of a harsh new reality, unaware of the fate that awaited them. On the night of December 14th, the unimaginable happened. The Japanese, facing the advancing Allied forces and fearing defeat, made a horrific decision. They rounded up the prisoners, and rather than allowing them to be rescued or freed, they led them into a narrow underground tunnel beneath the plaza. It was there, in the dead of night, that the Japanese soldiers began their ruthless massacre. They poured gasoline into the tunnel and set it ablaze. Trapped inside, the prisoners were consumed by flames. 
Those who tried to escape the inferno were met with gunfire or bayonets, mercilessly cut down as they fled. Of the 150 men imprisoned here, only 11 survived that terrible night. They escaped by jumping into the nearby sea, swimming through the darkness, clinging to life against overwhelming odds. The few survivors of the massacre would later tell harrowing tales of their narrow escape, of the horrors they witnessed, and of the comrades they lost. The haunting memory of the Plaza Cuartel massacre remains one of the darkest chapters in Palawan's history, an event that transformed this tranquil site into hallowed ground, forever marked by the courage and sacrifice of those who perished here. Today, as you walk through Plaza Cuartel, it's hard to imagine the horrors that once unfolded here. Amidst the peaceful gardens and stone walls, one feature stands out, a solemn statue dedicated to the memory of the soldiers who lost their lives in the 1944 massacre. Standing tall amidst the tranquil surroundings of Plaza Cuartel, this striking statue is a powerful tribute to the American soldiers who lost their lives in the 1944 massacre. Its raw and emotional form captures the agony and resilience of those imprisoned here during World War II. The statue portrays a figure of a soldier, his body twisted and contorted as if struggling to break free from the torment he endured. His expression is one of deep anguish, a silent scream frozen in time, symbolizing the unimaginable pain and suffering of the prisoners trapped within the walls of Plaza Cuartel. His hands are outstretched, grasping for freedom that was so cruelly taken from him. Under the lower half of the statue, the fatal flames are visible. A vivid reminder of the 150 soldiers who were held captive and the 139 who perished in the brutal massacre. The figure's exposed torso and strained muscles reflect the immense physical and emotional struggle of the soldiers, symbolizing hope and remembrance amidst the tragedy. The memory of the soldiers continues to be honored and kept alive. Today, the site of Plaza Cuartel stands as a somber reminder of this immense human cost, of lives cut short, of dreams unfulfilled, and of families who would never welcome their loved ones home. The stories of those who perished here are etched into the very stone of this place, a silent yet powerful testament to the sacrifices made. This site, with its quiet gardens and aging walls, serves as a stark contrast to the natural beauty of Palawan that surrounds it. Here, under the shade of the trees, and amidst the rustle of the wind, one is reminded that history's greatest tragedies often take place in the most unassuming of locations. While visitors to Palawan often come for the beaches and jungles, Plaza Cuartel holds an essential piece of the island's story, one that deserves to be remembered and honored. Palawan's allure is undeniable. Its pristine beaches, vibrant coral reefs, and lush jungles are known the world over, drawing travelers seeking adventure and tranquility. But beneath its natural splendor lies a history just as profound as its landscapes. Plaza Cuartel, often overshadowed by the island's tropical beauty, is a crucial chapter in Palawan's story. This quiet, historical site serves as a reminder that Palawan is not just a paradise of natural wonders, but also a place where history has left deep scars. To visit Plaza Cuartel is to walk the same grounds where men fought not only for their lives, but for their legacy. It is to bear witness to a story that shaped the course of this island, and indeed, of a nation's history during World War II. For those who visit, Plaza Cuartel is not simply a stop on a tourist map, it is a place of reflection. It invites visitors to pause, to listen to the whispers of the past, and to honor the memories of the brave soldiers whose lives were cut short. As the sun sets over the waters of Palawan, and the shadows lengthen over the plaza, visitors are reminded that history is not just found in textbooks or museums. It lives in places like this, in the walls that stood witness, in the statues that stand tall, and in the hearts of those who remember.
Plaza Quartel is not just a historical site, it is a space of remembrance. To walk through its gates is to step into a chapter of history that deserves to be honored, not only for the lives lost, but for the resilience and strength that echoes through the years. And just as Palawan's natural beauty leaves a lasting impression, so too does its history, reminding us that even in paradise, we must remember the past to understand the present. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and comment. See you.